OK, so this fight week over in Manchester, Matram are at it again with a big card. And uh, it's big for William Crawler because he's making his debut at the Manchester Arena. Not a bad place to start. Yeah, it's massive for me. And uh, yes, I can't, it can't be anywhere better to start. Is it? It's the... Uh, is it Steph London? Is that what they call it? Is that what it's called? I don't know. But Bloody crazy, that's what they call it. Yeah, the creme de la creme they call it, don't they? But yeah, uh, yeah, this is, this is, a, this is not, not much bigger than this. Listen, you know, most people make their debuts on a smaller hall show, um, but you're used to these kind of big occasions that we've mentioned. You've always been in the room, in, you know, with, uh, with your brother. What, when did you sort of click that this was going to be your time and you were going to have a go? I've, I've always boxed, I've always boxed and one of the benefits of having Anthony's brother is why I'm on this big show and I know that there's a lot of people saying what's he done to deserve to be there but I'm just taking the leg up that, that's been offered just from what Anthony done and I'm sure they do the same but I'll be staying on these shows and Saturday night you'll see why and it'll be, it'll be my first step to making sure I stay on these. Listen, you know, you make your own luck at the end of the day and this is your opportunity to walk out of the Manchester Arena and see all those people and walk out to a good tune, I'm sure, and just enjoy it. Look at your face, you can't wait, can you? Nah, I'm really, I'm excited. Like you're saying there, like, I've always, I always knew this was going to happen, even when, well, there's no excuse, I, I went fat, I've seen a few interviews, I went fat, too many pints after work, they had up, and um, even then, though, I always knew it's going to happen so this I feel normal I feel at home I feel very comfortable in this environment that I'm in now I feel I belong here and um, yeah Saturday like you say I just can't wait to get started it's quite unusual for sort of siblings to uh, to be training each other. Obviously, Campbell gets trained by his uncle. Um, you know, Connor Ben's not trained by Nigel. He's trained by Tony Sims. What's it been like being trained with your brother? I think a lot of things. I think people are worried about falling out, aren't they? But he's, I think it's a bit different with your brother. I think like best mates. Like he's trained me. He trained me when, the, when I was in the amateurs, and then you see, I'm just second nature. He's, and he's a very good coach. He's got a very good boxing brain. And not many people realise that, but uh, he is a very good coach and um, yeah, I wouldn't have anyone else in the corner. Have you been in the gym? Have you been in with uh, Mr Moorcroft and Rhiannon? Yep, James, Rhiannon, uh, we've got Sahir, Bobby, Jake James, uh, Levi. We've got a good little stable now, a big one, the close-knit one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good fun in the gym, man, it's a laugh, it's a laugh. We were in uh, Dublin with uh, James, he held the plane up because he was the first one to get on the plane and go to the toilet oh, before the plane was taking yeah. off. Yeah, exactly. Typical James, we're making it about him. OK, well, we're getting ushered. We've got one minute, so we're going to wish you all the best on uh, Saturday night. We'll look with bated breath for your next move, and uh, hopefully you've got a big smile on your face, mate. Thank you. appreciate that, man. Thank you. Ta. That's all, mate. Thanks.